Hi, I'm Pippin Major, Sloth in Chief of Hanging Sloth Studios and the creator of the podcast Clockwork Bird. I'm here to tell you about our new podcast, Spirit Box Radio, an immersive horror audio drama about unlikely radio show host Sam Enfield, who has to fill in for the illustrious psychic Madame Marie after her mysterious disappearance. The show stars me as Sam Enfield, and a lot of the cast you already know from Clockwork Bird, including the voices of Sophie Bennett, Alice Jones and Shelley Croft. The show is packed with fantastic new music, loads of spooky stories, and I'm really excited for you to listen to it. Spirit Box Radio will air on Thursdays from the 19th of November 2020, wherever you listen to your podcasts. Just search Spirit Box Radio or go to hangingsawstudios.wordpress.com forward slash spirit dash box dash radio to find out more. Tune in, get spooky. Sloth Studios presents Clockwork Bird or The Modern Icarus. Ah, done. I'm sorry, Shelley. I didn't quite catch that. Oh, don't you worry, you pretty little um CPU. Never mind. It's fine. You remember I got you to show me your update history? Of course. Well, I've just finished mapping it onto my call history and all the notes I made about you going weird, and guess what? Every time you update, the calls get weirder and you get weirder. Funny that, isn't it? I'm sure it is, Shelley. If you really are Darwin trapped inside a computer, you don't have much of a sense of humour, do you? Maybe you botched that bit of code. Okay, Shelley. Are you sassing me? I'm afraid I don't understand the question, Shelley. Maybe you do have a sense of humour. What am I even saying? Right. Updates, phone records, weird Eliza notes, and it all fits together, good and proper. Of course, the first set of files came the same day as the fire at Hithai Bay, and... God. It's just annoying that there's no way of telling when those recordings of Sophie and Alice were made, but there just... There just doesn't seem to be. Maybe if I was... I don't know. A hacker or something? Maybe I could get into Yuko's system and... Right. We don't know how they're recorded, so even if I was some kind of computer genius, I wouldn't know where to start. I don't know how Alice managed to get all of this information. She's she's good with computers, but hardly a genius, so... I don't know. Is there anything else I can help you with, Shelley? No, I don't think so. Not unless you can get into Yuko's locked systems. I'm afraid I didn't quite catch that, Shelley. Try rephrasing your request as a question. Semblance of, Semblance of consciousness. consciousness. I can learn. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I didn't catch that, Shelley. Try rephrasing your quest as a question. No, no the other thing, the, 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 the whispering thing. Um, God, I, I, I don't know. I, what if I just... I, I don't know. Just tell me what you said, for God's sake, without going all weird and typing out Alouette. Alouetta. Oh. Oh, God, it, it's, it's you. You're, you're, you're listening, right? She's sweet. Alouetta. Yeah, you're listening. It's... Oh, it's so weird. It's it's like you're separate, but not. I can't. I can't figure it out. I'm sorry, Shelley. I didn't quite catch that. Oh, and you're gone again. Oh, this is so frustrating. I can't even have a proper. Oh, for Christ's sake! Of course, I can't have a proper conversation with you. You're a computer. Or maybe not. <laughs> I don't bloody know anymore. Tell you what. From now on, whenever you're going to update, you tell me. Okay. Okay, Shelley, I've saved that in your preferences. Would you like to see the rest of your preferences? Not sure I'm emotionally ready for that today. Not going to lie to you, Eliza. Okay, Shelley, is there anything else I can help you with? No. Hi, Shelley. Problems with Eliza? No, actually. Managed to get her to agree to let me know when she updates. They're definitely connected with all her weirdness. I just wanted to make sure she's still disconnected. Yeah, she's still showing up on the system as broken and out of commission. Great. I think. I don't know. 
I've got a theory, by the way, about why it's just mine that's gone weird. Oh, what's that? The recordings. I think it listens and learns from them, all feeding back to the system, so it learns from that and that's why it's going weird. No, I don't think that works as an explanation. Well, why not? Think about it. The recordings appearing is a part of what's been going on. Maybe that's why your laptop is, uh, what did you call it? Whispering. Yeah, well, maybe listening to the recordings is why yours is whispering and none of the others are. But all the station computers went down and started typing Alouette the night your laptop got disconnected from the police systems, didn't they? Yeah, I'd forgotten. Unsurprising, really. It was a bit of an eventful evening. You can say that again. I won't. Thanks. Well, that's that then. My theory dashed on the ground. OK, Shelley. Is there anything else I can help you with? Uh, let's review some more of the new recording, shall we? OK, Shelley. Play the last one in the list, I suppose. Playing file now. What's your point? My point, Sophie, is... OK, I don't actually know what my point is. You don't say. I don't. Six of hearts? Go fish. Damn. I'm just saying, you know? Don't you think it's weird that he's barely been out since he came here? Like... I don't know. Unhealthy, maybe, for him to stay shuttered up in his room this whole time? He's probably busy. King of Spades? Bloody hell, there you go. No, I mean, what would he be busy doing in there? I don't know. I don't make a point of knowing absolutely every little thing that he does. I mean... The other day, I just... I swore I heard... What? What did you hear? Like, moaning? Ah. Has he got someone else in there with him? Frequently. Busy boy, I guess. It's not like that. He's not exactly in top physical health, as you can imagine. I don't know. The bits of him that are still human look pretty decent to me. I've been told he's quite fit, actually. I'm a bad judge, but I can kind of see it. Hmm. What? What? You went, hmm. Did I? Yeah, you did. Well, it's just, I don't know. It's unusual to hear an outside perspective on this, I suppose. On the hotness of Robin Yeager? Indeed. I've never really thought about him like that. Well, good. He's your patient, right? It'd be a bit awkward if you did. It wouldn't be inappropriate, I don't think. Though perhaps I'm not the best judge of what constitutes an inappropriate rendezvous. I suppose not. I can't believe we're talking about this in bed again. That's why I brought out the cards, to stave off talking about work. I mean, I don't mind. I'm interested. Really? Why wouldn't I be? You make cyborgs for a living. I suppose I do. I mean, there's no supposing about it, really. Just cold, hard facts. Hmm. He did it again. Sorry? Hmm. Oh. Sorry. I'll spill the beans. Well, I just... I don't know if I like to think of them as cyborgs. Them? The people with synthetic limbs, yes. Not even Robin Yeager? It's not a question of thresholds. I just... I don't like how it distanced them from their humanity. The word cyborg. Even the cadaver subjects. What do you call them, then? I don't know. Uh, people, I suppose. So? Do you think he's sleeping with one of the junior doctors? What? Who? Sam? Uh, no. Robin Yeager. Why on earth would I think that? The moaning? Oh. Right. Of course. I reckon it's Melanie. Perhaps... Well, you're not convinced. Who are you betting on? Oh, I... I don't like to speculate. Well, come on, it's fun, isn't it? I don't know, Alice. Oh, come on! Steph? Abby? Julian? No, Alice, stop it. Why? Because he isn't sleeping with any of them. 
I thought you said you didn't think of him like that. I don't. That's not what I... Never mind. No, what? I mean, you're clearly dying to say this. I can tell from your face. He is not sleeping with anyone. Oh. How do you know? Because he's in no fit state to... There's no way. He's not. No. Okay. Are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. Yeah, you seem just chipper. Thanks. No, seriously, Sophie, what are you talking about? Why are you all freaked out? I shouldn't be talking about this. About what? How he's falling apart at the seams. Robin? I don't know how much longer I... We... I don't know. Is he sick? Yes, he's sick. I'm sorry. I didn't know. It's fine. Well, it's, it's not fine. But I don't know how much more I can do. Obviously, very few people know, and I... I shouldn't be talking about this at all. Not with you or with anybody. It's okay, Sophie. You can trust me with this. I know. I just... I don't know. I'm going to make a cup of tea. Sounds great. I'll help. If you're coming, you'll have to put pants on. Oh, you're so boring. Guilty. Maybe next time we should go to your place. And you can be the one who makes the tea. No, no. I live in... It's a studio and it's... <laughs> no, it's full of too much stuff. And a hamster. Must be a pretty big hamster. Almost as tall as I am. So not very big then. Hey! End of recording. Man, I almost feel sorry for Sophie Bennett. Alice properly had her under her thumb, didn't she? I'm sure, Shelley. Oh, now you're just saying random stuff. You can't be this acerbic. It's not fair. I'm sorry, Shelley. Can I help you with anything else? No. I guess this gives us a good idea of when Alice started to get an idea of Robin, though. Last recording, she was just... Actually, it's no, it's not very helpful, is it? Because she was just getting Sophie to talk. <laughs> Ugh, does it even matter when she found this stuff out? I would like to know, though. At what point she knew he was dead. At what point she realised he was... I don't know. Not all there. But what happened? What happened between... I don't know, being cutesy and playing go fish in bed to being shut in a room eating what Alice calls prison gruel and how does Robin Yeager go from, well, not fine, but walking around allegedly fine, fine enough to be on cameras and in vogue to unconscious, as good as dead, according to Sophie Bennett. There's so many holes, Eliza, I don't know. I'm afraid I can't help you with that, Shelley. Is there anything else you need? About another dozen of these recordings. Alice, sitting down over there, safe, telling me exactly what happened. Sophie Bennett, a million miles away from her. Robin Yeager. I don't know. I don't know what with Robin Yeager. Conscious? Dead? I don't know. Clockwork Bird or The Modern Icarus is a podcast distributed by Hanging Sauce Studios under a Creative Commons International Sharealike license. This episode stars Daisy Major as Shelley, Gary Major as Dave, Jesse Jeffrey as Alice, Alex Pileber Richardson as Sophie, and me, writer, director, and producer Pippin Ola Major as Eliza, Noah Davis, and The Snake. As a new podcasting studio, every like, share and recommendation means the world to us. The podcast is written, directed, performed, edited and produced on no budget and exists only through the incredible time and energy all of our actors put into the show for absolutely no fee. You can stop by to say hi to us on Twitter at Hanging Sloths, or you can visit our website, hangingsloughstudios.wordpress.com, where you'll find transcripts of all of our episodes. Consider sponsoring us at patreon.com forward slash Hanging Sauce Studios to help us keep making the podcast, support our cast, and get access to behind the scenes content. That's patreon.com forward slash Hanging Sauce Studios. <laughs>